welcome back to a new video. So today we are going to be eating some food, making some food I guess. I just love doing food videos. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I do like that chicken spinach pasta that I always make to be honest. Like everyone in this house loves it. It's so good. It's definitely like cheat day food. I'm going to first show you guys how I make it and then we're going to come back to this scenery and we're going to eat and I'm going to answer some of your assumptions that you guys have made of me on Instagram. Some of them are just so random. I'm not going to be answering them all but let's jump into it. Before I show you guys how to make the pasta I'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one's going to go to Rima Budram so thank you so much for your sweet comment. If you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe, press that bell button and then let me know in the comments below or you can just leave a nice comment. Anyways, let's go on to how I made the pasta. So the first thing you're going to need is some chicken. We need lots of chicken. I'm not good with measurements, but I'll try and write them in the info box. You're also going to need two little onions and a lemon. Tomato puree, parmesan. I think this is parmesan, but I always get this one anyways. And I get this big tub of like double cream. And obviously you need some big spaghetti. Some spaghetti. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut our chicken into like cube pieces. I never knew that raw chicken could kill you. I used to eat it raw. I'm joking. I don't really. <laughs> Did I scare you there? <laughs> but yeah, I didn't know it was like that serious. And now like I'm so paranoid about it. Like, no, but honestly, I, I really don't eat raw chicken. I mean, who does that? That's disgusting. We usually have to... I usually have to double up on everything because there's a lot of people in this house, so you could make, like, half the same amount for, like, two, three, four people. So while we have the chicken cooking on the, in the other pan, and here we're going to put some olive oil. I'm also going to dump some paprika in there. You can also put cayenne pepper, which is in the, uh, the make, uh, not makeup tutorial, the re recipe video from Twisted Food, but no one can eat chili here, so. But obviously if you do like spicy, you can obviously put cayenne in there. I'm also going to put some tomato paste. I've just poured in one of the um, double creams. But I think I might put a little bit more. So you're going to want to let that cook for a while. So I'm going to put the spinach in. These are already washed. So you want to dump it in the sauce and it will like soften up. I try to get the chicken like crispy and well cooked. We're going to dump the chicken. So you can already pop your cheese. I just dump a good amount in there. Okay, I've squeezed my lemon and you can dump that in there as well. Okay, so we now have our cooked pasta and I'm just going to dump all the sauce in there. If I can. That's the pasta ready. Don't it look so yum? Catch the spinach. <laughs> okay guys, this is my food. I'm not going to have too much, it's literally the next day, so if you guys are wondering, but I just wanted to enjoy my food in front of a show. That's so nice. So the first one, straight up, is you are a sweet tooth. I am definitely like the biggest sweet tooth. Probably maybe that's why I don't have the best teeth. But to be honest, 
the problems with my teeth are all historical i'm just trying to get around to fixing them i have a huge phobia against dentists so that's why i keep putting it off i freaking hate it so much but yeah i'm trying to get them fixed because my teeth on the bottom are perfect but these ones just need fixing it's just like the fillings that i had years ago are staining and now in this time of age apparently it's different so they're gonna fix it all for me soon hopefully but anyways i'm just trying to get around to doing that but yes i love sweet sugar stuff if i go to a restaurant and i'm looking at the menu my eyes will go straight to like the dessert menu first and see what's on there <laughs> the second one is wait i'm gonna forget how i'm gonna forget to eat my food The next one is you're 17 years old. No. No, 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 no. How old I am? I'm 23, I think. I'm gonna be 24 this year. Am I? How old am I? No, yeah, I'm 23. The next one is you're really rich. Far from it. Far from it, boo. Another one that I got a lot is if I'm Muslim. I'm not Muslim, I'm Catholic, but I grew up in a family that prayed to both Catholic and Hindu gods. And I know it's such a controversial thing because it kind of contradicts in both religion, but it's very common, especially in Mauritius, for people to grow up in both religions. And I do have belief, beliefs in both. Um, but I would say mainly I'm Catholic because when I pray, like I, I think I pray to like Jesus and Mother Mary and stuff like that. You were born knowing how to do bomb makeup. I wish I was, but I clearly wasn't. Because if you go back to all my old videos, I, I really question it. I really do. You have a half sibling. I do. Uh, I'm the one who's the littlest one. Obviously, if you just look at us, you know there's something different there. But um, yeah, he has a different dad to me. Your mum and dad are divorced. They are. Wow. I don't know. People usually answer questions like that, but it's not a secret. You're gonna get married this year. I don't think I am. I'm really focusing on my career and like, I'm really focusing on career stuff right now. Um, marriage is not any, I've been with my partner for like, it's gonna be 10 years next year. And marriage is not something that we're like rushed to do. It will happen one day, but I'm just not rushed to do it. You're really, really smart, like A star smart. I am not. <laughs> I wish I was, but you know how you have your friends? Some of your friends like read one thing and they get it straight away. Like, I'm not like that. I have to read that bloody sentence five times for me to understand it. So, no, I'm not. And I've just been really lucky, I guess. I do work really hard, but I've also been really lucky with the opportunities I've gotten. And like, because when I came to the UK, I had no GCSEs. So I was really lucky to be even accepted into A-levels with no GCSEs and be able to do them at the same time so like so things like that like i've just been lucky at how i've been you know like in my journey i'm not hungry guys so i guess we're gonna forget the food i had so much the other days like i'm just sick of it i made so much i guess this is just a sit down video just a sit down video you wish you loves you wish you lived somewhere else in the world i really don't like i'm happy in london I wouldn't want to live anywhere else like even in the states i don't think i would want that you are very yeah another one that i got a lot is that i'm a very introvert person now i don't know how to interpret that because i don't know like introvert is very quiet and sometimes to be honest like especially at work i'm so quiet and like sometimes i feel like at work i'm not myself like i'm so quiet and I guess that's my professional self but in real life like sometimes I feel like I'm in between I'm not an introvert and I'm neither an extrovert I'm just in between I, I'm really chilled like I'm a very chilled person in general I'm definitely not the one to like be yelling in some place or getting on going down and twerking I'm not like that I'm just in between and yeah and also, if you're an introvert, I don't think that's there's anything wrong with that. As long as you know how to speak to people and... I don't know. You're a nice and humble person. 
thank you that you care too much about others i think that's kind of true because sometimes i give like my all especially in friendships i give it my all and like some take the piss and like it really annoys me and I think I've had so many bad experiences with like friendships in the past that I only keep only a few people like when I say a few like a couple of people very close to me because then I don't know I just keep getting disappointed by people because I put everything and that they just do stuff that shows that they don't really care or they're just taking the piss or I'm just a puppet to them yeah you don't really like to drink alcohol and party I think that's a good description of me like I don't like drinking that much and I don't go clubbing I just don't enjoy it is that weird have I broken a law because I feel like for some people that's like breaking the law I don't know but I don't have anything against it like if you want to go drink and party you can do that all you want but that doesn't mean because I don't personally like it that I'm a weirdo and like I can't live. I love doing other things, you know. You connect more with your Mauritian side than your Indian side. I think that's really true because I grew up with my mum. So obviously that side took up more. I'm so thirsty right now. Oh my God, this is so good. My mum found a French shop online. And this is like French strawberry syrup with water. And it's just the best strawberry syrup of life. But yeah, I grew up with my mum and that side definitely took more. But there's some Indian in, there's some Indian heritage that comes along with like with come, that comes with Mauritians and I grew up to watching Star Plus and watching Bollywood films and going Temple. That was more with my dad's side cuz I was still quite old before my dad left, but we would go Temple quite often and when we were little kids we would write dance around to like really loud Indian music so but I definitely took more to the Mauritian side as in like being able to speak it and you know the culture and everything like that once you start a task you put 100% effort in it and don't stop until you have finished it to the best of your ability I don't know if that's true to myself to be honest because if you were to take the example of me cleaning my room that is definitely not true like I always do it halfway <laughs> but in terms of more serious things like uni or job wise stuff, YouTube stuff, just certain videos that I've worked with brands, I definitely give my all in it and I don't like I give it everything. You can speak Hindi fluently, I cannot unfortunately. I wish I could but I can't. I love how calm and kind you sound in all your videos. I believe your mum taught me taught you well. Yeah I'm just a really calm, chill person. And I'm surprised that you guys even watch my videos because, I don't know, my mood changes a lot. Like, some days I'm really, like, hyper and I laugh so much and I make tons of jokes while I try to. But some days I'm just super chilled and, like, yeah. And then some days I'm really moody. Like, I'm not perfect. I get really moody a lot, to be honest. Especially when since I've been starting to work. Because you come home and you're so damn tired and you ain't got time to do anything. So, yeah, don't think like I'm all happy and giggly all the time. Like, it's okay to be moody. It's okay to have your little moans. Sometimes you just need it. But most, like, I think it was a few days ago, I was so moody against everyone. Like, I went for a good run on the treadmill and that really released all the negative tensions, you know. Released them. Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to go. I don't know why I'm holding this like it's wine or something. I hope you enjoyed this really super chilled video, basically chilled like me <laughs> give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next one bye